What's going on Garage Gym Nation? This is Sam from Garage Gym Reviews and today we are back with another DIY video. We asked you on the last one in the comments, what do you guys wanna see? Weight bench popped up a lot, so here we are. Now I'm gonna preface this with saying that we are at a time where it is literally more expensive to build a bench than it is to buy a bench. That being said, you never know. You might have some old lumber laying around or you might decide, hey, I just wanna do this myself. We're back here in the DIY land. So make sure you stick around to the end because we got a secret hack that no one else has done on a DIY weight bench before. Let's do it. Did you see what that hit? All right, now you're probably asking yourself, Sam, why are these tools laid out? Why does it look like you have already started building the bench? That's because I did already start building the bench. See, we actually started this video about two weeks ago, and then there was this crazy medical emergency that happened with myself. I was out for a couple weeks. It's cool, I'm okay, I'm back. This is not going to be a step-by-step -step guide because we all know we always want to do it ourselves however it is we want to do it. This is just to give you some rough ideas of what you can do if you are wanting to build your own flat bench, okay? But I do want to very quickly walk you through what we've already done with the legs. We made our measurements, took the circ saw, cut that out and removed that gap. We then stuck the upright in there we took a paddle bit, drilled out the holes so that the screws actually sunk in. I do recommend using at least two bolts in there. If you have one, it's just gonna be a little rickety. This thing at this point though, borderline indestructible, okay? The next thing we need to do though, is go ahead and finish this second leg and then jump in to building the frame that your top slash your pad is going to sit on. Let's do it. Beautiful. All right, now we can go ahead and attach our upright. A little bam bam action. Bam bam. <laughs> this should work out pretty well. Got two holes, but a bench ain't one. Probably half the stuff we're using here is just like random parts and pieces we have from like laying around the building. Just be smart about what you use. You know, don't use like a three inch deck screw to try to put this together and then think you're gonna be able to bench 500 pounds on it. All right, so next thing we need to do is our top. We have this two by four piece of plywood. You're only gonna want your bench to be right around 12 inches wide. You can, you can go a little bit wider, maybe if you're a little bit bigger person. Again, you don't wanna take up like a massive amount of space. The more space you have, the harder it is for you to actually center your body on the bench. So we need to pretty much cut this board in half with our handy dandy circular saw. We're gonna grab a two by four to use it for a guide. And uh, we're gonna get this all set up. Grab a few of these shorties. We're gonna lay our board across them and that way our blade is not cutting into the concrete. All right, so we're just gonna make a few marks here. Now we have our top. It's a little bit warped. It's hard to find good wood these days, you know? Not even gonna touch that one. <laughs> so I told you guys earlier in the video we're going to try something new, innovative, secret that has not been done before. We built some DIY utility blocks. You can set a flat bench on them. We did that just a few weeks ago to kind of make an adjustable style bench. But that got me thinking, what if we could make it where this front leg folds down nicely and tucks away in there to then have an adjustable type bench, right? What I'm gonna do for this front area because we want this leg to be able to swing kind of like a pendulum whenever not locked in place. So I'm gonna cut this four by four to 16 and a quarter. Uh, I'm gonna cut two of them. We're going to attach them to this side of the bench and uh, then we'll start drilling some holes to kind of create our pendulum for the bench leg. Got our 
two. All right, now I've kind of marked out on here just a light sketch of where the leg itself is gonna sit. You want it to have a slight amount of play. It will just fit snugly in there like that. It's all coming together. Okay, so typically I would totally recommend having clamps or forehands to do this with. Did you say you'd recommend a person has four hands? I did, One I do, yeah. We're just using two and a half inch deck screws for this. Now that we got our blocks in place, we need to be able to make it so that this leg can actually be able to swing back and forth through. We're gonna use this screw bar, it's a half inch. Now that we know that our hole is lined up, we're going to do a little angle manipulating down there to uh, make sure that this can pivot freely. Did you see what that hit or what that was? I thought that was a freestyle launch. We now have a moving leg bench. Next step to kind of wrapping up this whole moving leg situation is we're gonna just throw a washer and a nut over here on this side, cut off this side, do the same thing. Then we are going to drill one more hole uh, through here. So that way, whenever the bench leg is in place, you can just slip the old rod in and uh, keep it stable. Grab your hacksaw. You did it! Ooh, it moves so nice. Next step, we gotta lock it in place. All right, now that we got our front leg where we want it to be, we are going to actually attach our back leg, add some wheels to the back, add our pad, and add a handle in front and call it good. Let's knock it out. Few screws down the middle. After purchasing this glue, I read that it takes, uh, I believe, six to eight weeks to set up for it. So. All right, there you have it, our DIY adjustable flat bench. It starts out as a flat bench. You can pull your pin out, do a few different movements there. Added a handle, added some wheels for some easy mobility. Again, I said it in the beginning of the video, currently at the time of the release of this video, DIY equipment is probably not the most economical thing in most cases, unless you just have extra pieces of scrap wood, vinyl, stuff like that laying around. However, you never know whenever another pandemic, something along those lines may hit uh, and we run into equipment shortages, stuff like that. So having the skills and the knowledge on how to build these and build these properly may come in handy someday. Thanks for joining me. I'm Sam from Garage Gym Reviews. We'll see you next time.